Hi, Bird Keeper Toby. We are the, the Plant Cast. We are Pokemon enthusiasts from around the world, stemming from as far as Africa to the ends of Hawaii, and we get together on a regular basis to discuss all things Pokemon, from theories to battles and other things of, of that nature, and we definitely want a battle. My name is Draconis, Chase, Hello. Yari, uh. <laughs> Sun Ryu, Welcome. and Good Gamer Glenn. Lola. Today, it's just going to be myself and Good Gamer Glenn, as our other members, unfortunately, have busy schedules this time of year. They weren't able to join us for giving our responses to this. Question number one. Do you or will you have a channel mascot? Our mascot is the Mudkip. We're a channel that spawned from Mudkip Memo's Discord. After he announced his retirement, we wanted to keep our community together, so the mods and I decided to form what we call affectionately the podcast, both in tribute to our founder, Mudkip Memo, but also mm -hmm. to give the people of our community a, uh, a place to stay and feel that relaxed atmosphere that he cultivated. Number two, what is the best video you have made this year slash the video you are most looking forward to making? For me personally, I really love their Halloween spooky episode. It, it just seems so fun, like just to think of um, what would be like your favorite spoopy Pokemon during that time of the season. And we had our laughs during that thing as well. Like I remember the Phantom thing. <laughs> so <laughs> that was kind of funny. For me, ours was our first collaboration with our Battle at the Pond series for Rowlet, where we collaborated with uh, another small creator and had our takes on how we would train this particular Pokemon. And I always loved seeing how people come up with some out of the uh, box ideas and and really just run with it it's just something so much fun about seeing the creative process of that number three just a little personal preference one what would you prefer to come out next an ilka created uh heart gold soul silver in the same style as brilliant diamond and shining pearl or a legends unova game by game freak i love a legends like QRM game or a Legends Unova game. If anything, a lot of like a Gen 5 fans really want to know what Kirim would look like as like the original dragon. Zekrom and Reshiram actually combined into it because I think that'd be pretty damn cool if you ask me. And as a dragon typing fanboy, just, that would be just great to see. Yeah, I have to agree. I think universally the entire cast of the podcast would agree that the Legends you know really seems much more appealing than um, BDSP style remake of Heart Soul Silver. Question four, what can your viewers expect from you next year? What we're looking to do is expand more of our series called Rumor Reviews, as well as our Battle of the Pond series, but also expand into other aspects of the Pokemon world, from cards to theories of what's to come, as well as even taking a look at where we see the franchise heading with what we've seen, where it's come from as well as little things that have popped up throughout the last couple of years and what we might be able to expect from the Pokemon company as a whole. Number five, we're gonna talk about that busyness. Uh, what, has there been any big milestones for you this year? For us, definitely, it's just starting up this channel in general because we, we did kind of start a little bit later into the year, but we, we were kind of in like that kind of planning stage, like is this something we, we could do, we should do kind of thing and as mods we came together and we thought you know what let, let's give it a shot you know so like i think starting this channel in general just kind of would just definitely be the biggest milestone for us currently and then number six my favorite part of this tag and what i'm really hoping to get from a lot of you is name a creator who has less subscribers less viewers than you who you think is absolutely amazing who deserves to be being watched more for me, we've got a couple of really talented creators in, as part of our Discord. Starting off with the Passenger Seat, who are a pair of guys who go through all forms of geek culture and just discuss things in a very relaxed atmosphere. We even had Jay jump into a couple of our episodes. Subarashi, who's a member of our Discord, who's done started doing some playthroughs this year. We have Nijikin Gojira, who is a Twitch streamer who started this year as well. And the unique thing about his channel is that he's uh, deaf, so he uses a lot of ASL uh, to communicate with his with his fan base. And he's been doing great this year. I would like to uh, tag uh, Yimage Tortuga and Curse Shaka. They're both uh, Pokemon content creators. Um, 
definitely they're also in like the uh, kind of like the draft league battle scene as well there is one more his name is uh brada cahoots he's another uh poke tuber from hawaii like i am he is a poke tuber and he does do a lot of uh, draft league battle things and i think like some rival locks and something and those locks and stuff so definitely check these guys out and finally question thing number seven tag three people we have a little bit more than that but i want to tag arrow self specter ruffled rowlet for my tags, I mentioned them previously, but I would tag Yimich Tortuga, Kersh Shaka, and Brada, Brada Cahoots. Well, those are our answers, Birdkeeper Toby. And as always, thank you for joining us. And feel free to pop by and come hang at our Discord anytime. You're always welcome. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.